kiss her neck too. You Good night, Alice. Oh. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Nothing. Obviously, it's something. You're bouncing off the walls, Craig, and nothing rattles you. Okay, you might as well know. I think I've been stalked. Someone's been coming in here and moving things around. Business papers, personal items, photographs, things like that. Oh. Housekeeping. Oh, well, that's what I assumed at first, but then I... I had this really strange encounter with Barbara Bryant. What did you tell her about our finances? Well, not much. I just ran into her in the hallway once. Why? What are you worried about her finding out? I'm not worried about... Uh, Why are you here, anyway? I'm hiding. Janet started cramping in my living room. Is she all, is she all right yes, as a baby? she's fine. The doctor said she has to stay put for a couple of days. You mean stay put at your house? <laughs> oh, well. oh, to be a fly on that wall. Oh, well, you're not going anywhere near those walls until she's gone. There's enough testosterone flying around with Jack and, and Dusty trading pot shots at each other. Oh, I bet it'd be a lot more fun if the two guys were fighting over you instead of Mrs. Shut Schneider. Up, hey, Craig. you came to me, darling, not yeah, the other I didn't way around. Yeah, I came for a visit. I came to work and to escape that house for a couple of hours. <clears throat> uh, actually, I, uh... I want to ask you something. Are you really sure you want to go all the way through with this? Monte Carlo? Mm hmm Yeah, of course. How could you even ask me that question? Carla, you, you have a lot on your plate. I'm just wondering if starting a whole new company from the ground up is something you want to invest yourself into. You might want to think about scaling back. No. No, I definitely do not. This is exactly what I need right now, Craig. Especially now. You done with that? Mm -hmm. You want something else, like a tea, maybe? So you and Jack can fight over it again? No, thank you. <sighs> Janet, I want to take your temperature. Just to make sure you don't have a fever. I don't, I swear. How are you going to get an accurate reading? She just finished a hot chocolate. Well, perhaps her hot chocolate cooled off by the time she finished it. Am I right? I guess. Fine, you want a temperature? Allow me. She doesn't have a fever. I really don't, Jack. Humor me. I'm still your husband. Okay. If you hadn't messed up our flight to the Dominican Republic, you wouldn't be her husband anymore. Well, and if you two had actually gotten to Santo Domingo and this happened, she'd be there without her doctors. Whatever. And if you hadn't been so selfish and gone there for a quickie divorce, Janice's pregnancy wouldn't be in jeopardy right now. What? My pregnancy is in jeopardy? The doctor said everything was okay. Now nah, look what you did. I love this. Yeah, that's a beautiful design. No, I love all of it. Designing, marketing, manufacturing. You've done it all before. Not on this scale. I'm so glad you found that backer. Yeah, him. Uh, he, uh, he is a challenge. That's why I need to know that you believe this is all worth it. Of course it's worth it. Work is the only thing keeping me sane. I am starting to worry about you, though. And this stalker situation and Barbara. Yeah. Don't give it a second thought. It's not like you to freak out because Barbara's acting weird. You usually brush stuff like that off. And I shall continue to do so. So, go home to your commune. <laughs> and take it easy, please. I will. I'm not the one with the stalker. I can handle Barbara. I've done it before. I can do it again. Hello. Jack upstairs with Janet? Yeah. I gotta say, you seem pretty calm about all this. Do I? I must have a better poker face than I thought. I know it's not good for you and Jack to have Janet here. I'll get her out as soon as I can. I'm not worried about that. Jack and I are stronger than ever. Yep. Still normal, right? Don't don't pick on me for being an overprotective father. Okay? Oh, I kind of like it. It's how I always dreamed you would be if we had adopted the least baby. It's crazy how things work out, isn't it? I know. Here we are, divorced. 
I'm pregnant. And nobody has leukemia. And you're engaged to Dusty Donovan. Why do you two always go at each other like that? Well, he's acting like you're already married. Well, we are engaged. Well, he's not the father of this baby, and someone needs to keep reminding of that. Well, that's not gonna help. Who says? <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I'll let you get some wait, rest. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I'm not done yet. I'm sorry that I went to Santo Domingo without talking to you first. Why did you? Everything's been so messy. I just wanted to clean it all up, get it over with. No, I know. I don't blame you. Why did you forget the marriage ever happened and move on with your life? That is it. not what I meant at all. I think it's good that we broke up. We weren't happy. You and Carly and me and Dusty, it's better for all of us. Okay. regret being married to you. And a part of me will always love you. And a part of me will always love you, too. I brought you some crackers for morning sickness. Uh, Dusty sent up the tea. Oh, thank you. I have some soup downstairs if you're hungry. No, thank you. I hate having to put you out like this. Don't be silly. We having a tea party? I was just leaving. Carly, I didn't know you were there. Listen, Janet and I, we were just saying that. I we heard didn't... what you said. Carly, I know. I went to see Craig. Why? To get out of here, mostly. To talk about business. And you're telling me this now? To what? Make me jealous? I'm telling you this because there's nothing for you to be jealous of. There's nothing going on between Craig and me. You and Janet. You're having a baby. And I guess that's becoming a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm so glad that this baby could help save Liberty's life. I'm glad that it's okay and that, that Janet's gonna be okay too, but Jack, when is it gonna be our turn? She's in our bed. Our bed. And when she's gone, I don't want you thinking about Carly, her when you... Carly, I don't just love you in our bed. I haven't just made love to you in our bed. Take a look around. We have kissed and macked out and gotten naked on practically every visible surface in this room. It is our turn. But we're together. Through whatever happens. Forever. Oh. 